it's the craziest thing. Like when I started this channel, this is a little bit off topic here, but so many people, and this is actually very inspiring to me. And it, it, it's, uh, it makes me happy to hear this, that, um, that I've inspired people to take up judo, you know, and uh, like it, it, I'm not making any money off it and uh, that's fine. Um, and yeah, so it's actually very, uh, you know, people are actually watching my videos and getting inspired. Oh man, you know, yeah, judo seems pretty interesting. And yeah, I'm happy about that. that so. That's amazing because in North America, judo is not very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like huge, you know, in North America, like uh, on the world stage, like um, North America is, 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 is not at the top, the top countries who perform no. well, you know, in like uh, in the Olympics and, and, you know, like the world tournaments and all that. Oh, so. absolutely. It's, it's a very, it's very small. It's, you know, I think U.S. judo, if you look at their numbers, it's very small numbers compared to what judo is in France, for example, or, or yeah, Germany exactly. or Italy. France, yeah. So France is a, is a power player for judo in, 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 you know, any, any world competition. And, and the U.S., you would imagine, you have a U.S. And, and, and it's not, probably because of the popularity that BJJ has. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which again, great art, and of course, um, they're they're great quality in 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 the U.S. So yeah, most people will go there and suppose is going to learn judo, and, and you know, there, there's a lot of conversation about that, of mm -hmm. course. But um, but I, I think I think it's good if you can you know bring more people to try it. Yeah, yeah, because when I explain people to to people that um, well, a lot of what exists in BJJ comes from judo. And judo, you have the stand up part and you have the ground part. And essentially, it's also a lot cheaper. <laughs> That's the inner joke of BJJ being basically just judo. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> BJJ, basically just judo, you know? And, <laughs> and, and so if you practice judo, you get, you, you get best of both worlds. Uh, and then after that, you get, um, it's also cheaper. You save a lot of money and it's more structured. Right. And then, yeah. And also like there's, I find there's more, it, not to say that BJJ clubs don't have values or anything like that, but in judo, there's a lot of, it, it comes from Japan. So there's a lot of uh, tradition. There's a lot of mm -hmm. respect, you know, there's a lot of humility. There's, you know, it's, it's part of the, the, the code of uh, the moral code of judo, right? There's, there's, there's a couple of them. I don't know them all by heart here, but uh, right. you know, there's respect, there's humility, there's friendship, there's uh, courage, there's, you know, da, da, da. so, and, and, and it's, uh, judo is an educational tool. It was developed as an educational tool, uh, you know, to, um, to forge, uh, you know, kids and then eventually in you know, teenagers, adults, you know, so to better society, that was the whole thing. If I'm not mistaken, you know, I'm sure mm -hmm. there's probably other reasons, but so that's why it's such a great thing, uh, judo. And, and I enjoy it. And I'm going to go, I actually decided to go deeper into judo as opposed to um, trying to get my black belt in BJJ because I'm a blue belt in BJJ, but I did it for six years. Reason I'm not purple is because I change clubs. And when you change clubs, they kind of reset you, you know, yeah. like I feel as though it's, it's, it's a loyalty thing uh, more than anything else. When it comes to BJJ, you got to stay yeah. with the same club. And until yeah. they, they, they decide that you're loyal and that you're worthy and your criteria are, are different from club to club, then that's when they give you your belt. Whereas in judo, if I, if I go to a, if I train at one club and I get to green belt, when I go to the other club, I'm still a green belt. Mm -hmm. so it works like that in, in, in I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm sure it works like that too in BJJ, but what I'm saying is that there's a con continu continuity in judo. So once I get to my black belt, like, because what people might not know in judo is that you can only get up to brown belts you get your brown belt from your, from your sensei. But then after that, you have to pass the exam, uh, you know, at the, with the Federation to get your black belt. It's no longer in your, in your club's hands to give you that black belt. So once I get my brown belt, like if I change clubs, it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter. Like uh, it's not the other clubs uh, that's gonna give me a black belt or, you know, anybody for that matter. It's up to me to go get it. Of course I have mm -hmm. to be affiliated to a club and, and so on and so on. But I mean, uh, no one's going to stop you from, from, from getting it. That's yeah. what, that's what I was getting at in terms of like the belt promotions, but with judo, uh, yeah, you could like in BJJ, obviously you could move around. If you're a blue belt, you move to another club, you're still blue belt. But, um, what I'm saying is that 
it's just a little bit different. You know, like once you get in, in judo, once you have your, your, your brown belt, it's all you now, you know, you have to go. That is, that is the beauty. That is the beauty of having a hierarchical and very structured system. And which is typical to Japanese martial arts mm-hmm. in, in to, you know, Aikido has their equivalent um, with the Aikikai foundation, which is the biggest one, but there's also Tomiki. Uh, there's also other organizations. They tend to have the same structure and, and they kind of tend to have mutual recognition to a certain point. I think at least before the black belt, the black belt is a little bit different. Uh, same thing. I, I, I can think with, uh, uh, Kyokushin Karate, which is even more centralized or, mm-hmm. or Kendo or Yaido or Jodo or other martial arts armed and unarmed within, uh, within Japanese tradition. And I'm pretty sure that Chinese tradition have kind of the same setup in certain areas, certain contexts. With, with B- BJJ, it's interesting because so we've got these two kind of, they say, um, uh, models, like economic models, right? You have one which is the centralized organization, very Japanese, in which you know you have that mutual recognition is very structured. You can move from one to one, uh, and be you know having your your rank recognized. You don't have to start back, but at the same time, it kind of foster a. It, it doesn't really foster innovation as much as the decentralized model, which is typical mm-hmm. of you know North American martial arts, and uh, and particularly to BJJ. And, and so, as you were saying that decentralized and the recognition is and is not there, is not automatically assured. It depends on who you are, where you're coming from and who trained you. Uh, and, and on the one hand, it, it, is, it, is, it fosters a lot of innovation, okay? Because I'm not bounded by any organization. If I wanna throw some more wrestling into my style and I win competition, that, that makes me emerging you know, it makes you win on the market. Uh, on the other hand, you got that downside that people will be really confused of what they're doing. Okay, either they're loyal or not, so they have to kind of buy into a cult uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> or, or they're, they're kind of out of the whole thing. Rokas, so we're talking about you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about Rokas. No, no, absolutely, no, no, no. I'm, th- I'm talking about like the, the whole, what I find, Again, I, and I know that I get BJJ in the comment section say, "Whoa, you kind of come in here and tell it to me to my face. You're gonna roll with me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna Nonsense. f you up." I say, "Okay, yes, okay, I, 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 I'll put it out there. If I roll with any of you that have a BJJ background, you're gonna f me up. Okay, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's not happy. the conversation. Yeah, we're happy. Okay, <laughs> yes, uh, my black belt will be totally worthless, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, go with it." Um, but the thing is that we, if you look at the way BJJ expanded in, in, in North America, for example, uh, and again, this was the genius of the Gracies. The Gracies were as much good as martial artists that as marketeers or again, as people of, of marketing and finance and, and being entrepreneurial, They're really great on that department. The way they expanded, they boom BJJ. BJJ is booming all over the place. It's, it, it has been replacing Taekwondo Studios, oh, American wow. Karate Studios. There is a BJJ studio pretty much everywhere these days, whether it belongs to a franchise or is independent or is some this lineage or that lineage, there is a BJJ studio everywhere which comes with a lot of opportunity for innovation, but also with reference to what you were saying about, this is how I have to get through the whole rank, comes with a price in terms of quality. 